Okay, yes, there's definitely been a strain on our relationship, but I, lately I just feel like we're not getting along like we used to. <laughs> well, things were going great until you started dating what's-his-name. Sherry, you know Patrick's name. I know. But once you say it, it becomes real. Hey, Doctor, do you see what I have to deal with? I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. I just started my practice, and my first patient not sent to me by the court is Alex Young. <laughs> Hey, where'd you get this guy? A flyer off the windshield. <laughs> what? You're the one that didn't want me to go to any of those fancy Beverly Hills therapists because they get all gabby with the press. <laughs> if this one talks, he knows we'll kill him. <laughs> okay, Sherry, I'm sensing some anger, but maybe that is coming from the fact that you feel threatened. No, I don't feel threatened. I feel tired always the one fixing things. You don't appreciate the effort I put into molding Patrick. <laughs> Are you the kind of doctor that can prescribe things? No. Not even if I have my own prescription pad? No. Okay then, please continue. Look, in the beginning, I know that Patrick might have been a little naive about dating a celebrity, but it's sort of trial by fire. You know, you could just kind of jump in and, and... So, you know, we haven't really talked about this. It's been a couple months. How are you dealing with the uh, autographs and the tabloids and the paparazzi? It's, it's been fine. You know, everybody's been pretty cool. Yeah. Except my, my principal at school, he's riding me a lot. Every time he sees me in the hallway, he's like, Hi, Hollywood. <laughs> Would it help if I sent uh, an autographed 8 by 10 It works wonders with the cops. I told you what happened in Tijuana. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, about your principal. I mean, I could uh, go to the school, put in a personal appearance, touch his arm, do an adorable little hair flip. In acting school, they call it the Alex Young. They used to call it the Ernest Borgnine, but I'm prettier. <laughs> Sweetie, it's very effective, but I'll, I'll handle this. <laughs> okay. I gotta go. I gotta get to work. Yeah, me too. I gotta give a pop quiz on Henry VIII. Ah, uh, making out with Harrison Ford. <laughs> Man, we have different days. Well, if it makes you feel any better, he's a terrible kisser. All tongue. How is that supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> wow, that actually does make me feel better. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Co-star Alex Young, 31, complains that Harrison Ford is half man, half tongue. Oops. Someone is trying to ruin your life. This reeks of Witherspoon. Or Aniston. Or Paltrow. Mm. We really need to get me some new friends. Wow, who did I mention this to? Um, uh, so says Ms. Young's new boy toy, Patrick Owen. Ah. Well, that narrows it down a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> Is she really going out with him? Is she really gonna take him home tonight? Is she really going out with him? Cause if my eyes don't deceive me, there's something going wrong around here. Around here. This is not good. This is not good at all. You know, Sherry, calm down. So Patrick told someone I don't think my co-star is a good kisser. I don't care about that. It says here you're 31. I am 31. Ah! <laughs> don't ever say that. Do you know how hard I've worked to make you 29? I've told the studios, all the press. I even have mom believing it. Please, mom lies about her own age. No, she doesn't. She's 56. She's 59. She's 62, but it doesn't leave this room. Hello. Hey, it's Patrick. Come on in. I'm glad this doesn't bother you. Next thing you know, they'll find out about your pot smoking. I don't smoke pot. At a girl. Hey. Hey, Stevie. Hey. Sherry, you remember Stevie? Okay. Hey, so we're on our way to shoot some hoops. I realized I left my high tops here. Nice! Fireplace in the kitchen? Damn! <laughs> I've never really been in a celebrity's home before. Really? From your suave demeanor, I took you to be some sort of duke. <laughs> so, boy toy. Talk to any reporters lately? Hey, don't look at me. I didn't talk to any reporters. I only talked to some... 
boy. Oh. Okay, Alex, I can explain this. You remember Tuesday at the coffee shop after you left? I, I started talking to this busboy. Reporter. Look, I didn't know who he was. He seemed nice. Oh, my God. I have the CD. I have... We have the CD. <laughs> Alex, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not used to all this tabloid stuff. Oh, please. These reporters are really tricky. It's not a big deal. I feel horrible. Well, you have until I find your high tops to get over it, okay? Thank you. <laughs> She's amazing. Yeah, she is totally just... Okay, you blew it big time. <laughs> you obviously don't understand the fundamentals of dating a celebrity. So now, teacher man, we're gonna go over your ABCs. <laughs> what? I think she said, so now, teacher man, we're going to go over your ABCs. I heard her. You're raising your voice an awful lot at me today. Now, A, always be aware. B, be aware always. C, see everyone around you. Always. <laughs> Okay, Sherry, I get it. Look, it was an honest mistake. Honest mistakes can ruin Alex's career. She didn't seem to mind. Yeah, because she's too nice to tell you. But I'm not. <laughs> you have to suspect everyone all the time. They'll follow you. They'll trick you. They'll get to you to get to her. So you have to be vigilant, even when you're apart. Okay, I can find your sneakers. Uh, I'll help you look. We should probably rule out the hot tub first, huh? <laughs> Okay, I'm hearing a lot of good things. You guys are making a real breakthrough. People don't usually cry in the first session. Y you okay now? <laughs> Much better, thanks. Just brought up a lot of stuff. <laughs> I forgive you, Daddy. Your father died? No, he works in the massage parlor upstairs. You know what, not about me. So, let's continue. Okay, well, I guess after I talked to Patrick, he got all worked up and he went back to his school. All right, now that we've all read, and I know you've all read the first five chapters, Kafka's The Trial, what do we think that he's... No way. No way. Yeah, I'll call you right back. What do we think that Kafka is trying to tell us in The Trial? Jimmy? You got me. <laughs> what do you mean, Jimmy? Well, some guy gets accused of something, and he doesn't even know what he did. That wouldn't happen. Hey, who here has been yelled at by Crazy Coach Farakuti? <laughs> and who knows why? Welcome to the trial. Is he insane? Kafka. No, him. <laughs> yes, he is insane. <laughs> so study hard, kids, or... This could be you. <laughs> what are they laughing at? Nothing. So what's going on? Look, I don't want to freak you out, but there's a chance I was followed this morning. <laughs> followed? What are you talking about? The rules, man. Sherry's rules, the ABCs. I'm scared. <sighs> Stevie, I say this as your friend. No one's following you because you're no one. Hey, Principal Talbot. Hanson, Hollywood. I'm glad to see teaching isn't interfering with your boy toying. <laughs> Very funny, sir. You know what's less funny? Reporters constantly calling, tourists wandering the campus, distracted students. I'm not happy, Patrick, not happy at all. Yeah, I'm not happy either, sir. But in my opinion, you've handled this inconvenience with your usual aplomb. <laughs> Wonderful, I've impressed the sub. At plum, word a day toilet paper, brother. Get to know it. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful image. <laughs> All right, gang, we're <laughs> working. What are you doing? Who's that new kid? The tall one sitting in the back? It's Trevor, transfer student. He just started today. Transfer student? He's a reporter. <laughs> See, he's not a reporter. What is he got to show up in a news van, dude? The guy's got a mustache. I can't even grow a mustache. 
he's just a student. Yeah, on the GI Bill. <laughs> Look, tell me something. What do you know about him? You ever met his parents? You ever called his house? What size shoe does he wear, man? Tell me something. I just met him today. Would you stop it? You're getting in my head. They'll get to you to get to her. They'll get to you to get to her. They'll get to you. <laughs> what are you doing? That thing, man, where some past piece of advice comes back to haunt you. Don't you have a class to go teach? Oh, I'm not working today. <laughs> okay, gang, back to Kafka. So what do we think? Is there a conspiracy? Or is Joseph K. simply paranoid? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taping your class, then I'm gonna take the notes when I get home. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course that's okay. So is Joseph K., what do we think? Is he justified in his suspicions or... I'm sorry, Trevor, what, what is that in your bag? Oh, it's my camera. Why would you bring a camera to class? <laughs> I was thinking about joining the school paper. Ah, budding journalist, are you? Wow, that's a pretty fancy piece of equipment for a kid. <laughs> my dad bought it for me when my parents split up. I got a guitar. Hey, my parents just separated. I might get a car. Hey, uh, Trevor, when were you born? When was I born? You heard me quickly. July 7th, 1988. Seems like you had to think about it. <laughs> because you're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous? Why would I be making you nervous? Unless you've got something to hide. Do you have something to hide, Trevor? If that's your real name. <laughs> Mr. Owen, why are you being mean to the new kid? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fine, Stella. Dude, Mr. Owen, you're freaking out. <laughs> I'm not freaking out. I'm not freaking out. You want to see me freak out? I'll freak out. But I'm not freaking out right now. What I'm doing right now is not freaking out. <laughs> you think he's in a good mood? Okay. When I have couples in my office, I like to do a little trust exercise. Why don't you guys scoot a little further apart? A little further. <laughs> okay, you just took a picture of me. And how does that make you feel? Uh, angry. Good! Finally, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so... Patrick is in trouble with the principal. Continue. Oh, and can you see if they'll change my wardrobe fitting to three o'clock? Okay, after that, can we go away for a few days? I could really use a break. You're thinking a break from what? No, I'm not. I got stuff going on too, you know. You're thinking like what? I swear I'm not. Now you want to smack me? Yeah, a little bit. Do you mind, sir? She's trying to eat her lunch. It's me, Stevie. I know. <laughs> hey. Hey, look, I just want to tell you that Patrick's not going to be able to meet you for lunch today. Oh, that's too bad. Has something come up at school? You could say that. Look, Patrick went off on this kid with a mustache we thought was a paparazzi, and then all the other kids started freaking out. Oh, my God, that's terrible. I know. <laughs> you can do a job on this one. Why would he do something like that? Yeah, why? Yeah, why? <laughs> Jerry? Okay, so I gave him the ABC speech. Oh, someone had to. He doesn't get it. He's a <sighs> civilian. <laughs> okay, Jerry, but I am not. I have been in the public eye since I was 17. And you've been protected thanks to me. I am torn right now. You guys both make compelling arguments. Nobody's asking you. Highlights. <laughs> Although I'm leaning towards Alex. All right, you know what, you guys? I'm going to go find Patrick, make sure everything's okay. Listen, honey, I, I really appreciate and love the fact that you want to take care of me, but trust me, I am always on high alert. Oh, please. Okay, two older women on my left shoulder just took my picture with a disposable camera. The guy on the other side of the tree is pretending to listen to a radio, but he's actually eavesdropping. And Stevie is wearing two different colored socks. I knew she was checking me out. Um, excuse me, could you tell me where I could find Patrick Owen? Beat it. 
Beat it, beat it, beat it. Get to class. But we're not done here. I smell reefer. <laughs> Hello, Miss Young. This is quite a surprise. I'm Principal Talbot. Oh, you're Patrick's boss. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Um, I came here to speak to Patrick. Ah, yes, about your situation with Mr. Owen. Can I see you in my office? Going to the principal's office. Mom. Mom, you will never believe it. Alex Young is in my office. Uh, excuse me, what about patient confidentiality? Oh, of course. Uh. Of course. Please, continue. All right. Well, this is nice. No, it's not. It's a hole. <laughs> Don't breathe too deep. There's mold in the walls. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> wow. Uh, Mr. Talbot, is Patrick in trouble? Because if he is, it's, it's, it's completely my fault. Well, actually, it's my sister's fault. Do you have a sister? Oh, look, you have a mother. That's my wife. <laughs> That's enough about family. Mr. Talbot, Patrick's little problem in class today will just all blow over, right? I'm afraid not. Things around here were already crazy before today. Now they become intolerable. I have to notify the school board. Oh, come on. Intolerable? It can't be that bad. You're right. You're absolutely right, Miss Young. I must be overreacting. <laughs> You see what you've done? Patrick was one of my best teachers. This school is an oasis in a city surrounded by Hollywood craziness. And now... Well, well, you, you can't punish Patrick for that. Miss Young, you're not in charge here. This, is, this isn't a movie I set. I know it's not a movie set. And in this office, we use our indoor voices. <laughs> All right, you know what? You, you have every right to be upset. He's, trust me, he's upset. Everyone's upset. But there's been no crime here. All I ask is that you judge with your heart, not with your head. Leave this place today and go home knowing that you did the right thing. Wait a minute, that's your speech from the defense rests. Damn it! <laughs> you know what, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go find Patrick. Obviously you're gonna do what you wanna do and I can't do anything about it. That's correct. I wanna find you a part in my next movie. Done. Really? <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alex, Stevie told me you were here. What's going on? Well, I came here to find you and I got dragged into the principal's office. Look, uh, Mr. Talbot, I've been thinking a lot about what happened today. You make a strong argument. <laughs> I haven't said anything yet. You don't have to. She did. What did you do? Offer him an autographed 8 by 10 No. I'm going to be in our movie. No, sir, you're not going to be in her movie. Yeah, we did, but, but, she, but she just said. <laughs> sir, I've been working here for six years, and this is my first bad day. And I'm not proud of what happened today, but I'm a good teacher, and the kids believe in me. And if you take this to the school board, I will fight it, and I will win. Wow, that was better than mine. <laughs> and can I please see you outside? I'm being called out of the principal's office. <laughs> Patrick, I, I was just trying to help. I know, and thank you. But don't do it again. Look, I really appreciate it, but you can't come down here and get all America's sweethearty and try to fix my life. Well, it's just you protected me, and I just wanted to do the same thing. I mean, you didn't ask for all this. I guess I come with a lot of baggage. Just a few carry-ons. <laughs> And listen, you know, Sherry gives that ABC speech to everyone. She made our pool man cry. <laughs> and hey, I'm not gonna stop protecting you. But you already do, by being your trusting self. You mean like not accusing kids of being spies, that kind of trusting self? I don't wanna date a bodyguard. When you act normal, I can be normal. Oh! Just like in the movies. <laughs>
Janice, I, I want to call every student and apologize, starting with Trevor McNunn. Trevor McNunn? <laughs> the, the new student that I thought was a reporter. There's no Trevor McNunn enrolled here. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Alex Young's boy toy in classroom meltdown. How did he get that picture? Dude, there had to have been a second shooter. I think it was a lot to expect for Patrick to just jump into this world without a few bumps, but he did it. Okay. I think we've really made some headway. Now, I like to wrap up with a little role-playing. You be my mom, and you be my dad. And I'll be me at age eight. What? What's wrong with wearing mommy's shoes? I think we're done here. The craziest guy I ever met. <laughs> I agree.